It's uh, Tuesday the 24th of May. Uh, I've got a week off work. So, we've come fishing. Now I've not put a video up for a while. And it's not for the lack of trying. Um, didn't do very well pike fishing all winter at all. Um, so, I've been moving out recently as well. So anyway, we're back. We've come down to Oxfordshire on the linear fisheries complex. This is Oxley's Lake, my favourite one. We're going to try and catch some tench. Now we're here till, we're here till Friday, uh, so we've got plenty of time to do it, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to be doing using two methods. Um, I'm bolt rig fishing, feeder fishing a pair of rods during the daytime, in the evenings and early mornings I'm going to uh, use my favourite method, float fishing with the centre pin. What I'm going to do first of all is uh, use the marker rod and just find out where the shelf is, uh, near shelf, close in, because the, I find the tension here pretty close in, spend a lot of the time sort of, you know, a few rod links from, from the blank on the shelf, so I'm going to just find the base of it and uh, give me an idea of where to drop my feeders. Here's the rig. It's a two and a half ounce Drennan. Inline bolt block end feeder. I've got a short up link, probably three inches. Fluorocarbon. It's a 10 pound breaking strain. And Filling the field with red maggots. I've got a size 14 hook, very strong one. We put in sort of three red maggots, two or three red maggots on the hook. On the other rod, I've got artificial casters, so I've got live baits on one, real baits on one, and artificials on the other one. And that's it. Here's the other one, the other rig. There's three artificial casters tied on the hair, done as a D rig. I blobbed it with a lighter. Yeah, the idea of this one is the maggots release on the feeder, the tension comes around, hoovering up the maggots, and with the buoyancy of these artificials. It all just flies into its mouth. So then obviously it pricks itself on the way to the feeder and bolts. So I'll get it back out. Again it's a 10 pound fluorocarbon. My main line is 12 pound. Um, It's Wednesday the 25th, I didn't catch anything yesterday on the bolt rig for your setup pad, a few liners but nothing to report. 
other than that. Anyway, this morning we're going to do some float fishing. Uh, see if we can get one. A lot of the lakes actually shut uh, due to carp spawning. There's a lot of pegs closed. Um, I have a feeling the tench might be in them. Because tench like to eat carp eggs. So, just getting my excuses in. <laughs> Anyway, I've got a brew on, and uh, we'll get a go. Well, it's not happening. Um, it's end of May and I'm laid up. It's freezing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move across there, in that peg over there. It's shallower, and there's there's carp spawning across there. Now, when carp are spawning, the tench move into the shallows and eat the eggs. So I'm hoping that will be tench over there as well. Certainly not here, it's, it's quite deep round this corner here. So, it's six in the morning. I'm going to get round, the gates don't open until about eight, so I'll get my arse in gear and get round there before anybody else turns up. I'm just going to shift all this lot. So I better get started. Okay, it's the final morning. Um, I lost a really big tench yesterday. Um, didn't get it on film. It was a huge tent. It would have been a PB. Uh, Anyway, no point crying about it. Um, this was last morning, I've got to save a blank. <laughs> so, uh, another two or three hours for a pack up. Head for a, uh, give it a go. Well, last chance saloon, in true form the camera battery went as I got the bite, so didn't catch any of that on film, but what I've got here is the biggest male tench I've ever caught, quite lively. Weighed this fish, it's seven pounds six ounces. 
And that is the largest male tench I've ever caught that. And that is absolutely stonking. The fight was absolutely fantastic. I just wish I'd remembered to replace the camera battery this morning. Anyway, we're going to chuck back out and see if we can get another. But I lost a fish yesterday far bigger than this one. Um, I think if it weren't £10, it wasn't far off. But anyway, we'll get him back. Absolutely brilliant. That. To the side. Right. Right. Slipping back. Okay, uh, come tench fishing. Uh, I've travelled down to Oxfordshire. This is the Linear Fisheries Complex. Uh, this particular lake I'm on is Ox it's not Oxley's, it's Manor Farm. Uh, Oxley's was full, so I'm on Manor Farm. Um, I had a walk round before I started, and I saw two tench in this swim. Three, I saw patches of bubbles fizzing, and I stood and watched for about 15 minutes, and I spotted two tench. I've raked the swim, and I was going to leave it till tea time before I started fishing, but there's, there's fish in it now, there's bubbles you know, coming up, and I've seen a couple of fish moving about, so. Uh, I'm having a go now. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're here for we're here for a couple of days. So hopefully, we can um, bag a biggie from this crust. I think there's there's tension this late to well over twelve pounds. So uh, fingers crossed. Missing me. <laughs> that second I have missed. Right. The first one we've had. <laughs> Not a monster, but we're off the mark. Um, I forgot to press record on the camera. I'm crap at this. <laughs> right, let's see if we get another.
Look at that for a beautiful fish. Rud. Good six ounces I would think. Absolutely beautiful fish. A little bar of gold. Wow. <laughs> Pleased with that. <laughs> Imagine what one two pound looks like. Flipping it. Let's give it back. <laughs> Second ten to the session. Male cracking fight. Weighed me up a couple of times. I'm not gonna weigh it. He's a good. He's a good four pounds though. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Brilliant. Get him back. Oh yes, oh yes, I'm going to have two of these because I'm a growing lad, I'm only growing one way, outwards, but I'm a growing lad. That looks good enough to eat that. Hmm. Luckily I've positioned myself close to a chemical toilet.
third tench, a couple of pounds. <laughs> the weather's absolutely foul. Rained all morning. Feels like it's been in the bath, this fish. Oh, it's a wall. Right, we're getting back. There's my fourth tench I've had. Didn't get it on film. Uh, I put the kettle on to make a brew. I reeled in and I noticed that the uh, there was a patch of bubbles fizzing. So I just quickly dropped the rod, got the bait right on it, and it, I got a lift bite. This is the result. Anyway, about four pound again, I would think. I'm going back. Mugged it. <laughs> New technique. It's called tench mugging. <laughs> Just wait till you see a patch of fizzing bubbles and drop a worm on it. There's one over there as well fizzing. That's how it's done.
Finish number five. There's another one over there, fizzing. Get this one hooked. Anyway. 513 according to my scales. I thought that was going to be six plus. Beautiful fish though, doesn't really matter. Absolutely superb. Fin perfect. Mugged. <laughs> right, we'll go back and see if we can get another. Okay, we're here in Oxfordshire, we're on Oxley's Lake, uh, tench fishing, we got off to a good start, been fishing about half an hour, we've got this four pound male, quite nice, we'll uh, get him back, see if we can get another cracking. The male fish, about three pounds, I would think. Mugged it. <laughs> Good scrap. It's got quite a hump on it. Like it wouldn't. Right, I'll get it back.
six pound five ounces that one absolute cork it's another male big big male cracking scrap right we'll get it back <laughs> brilliant Babby there, look. Perfect. Well, it's my final morning. Classic tank fish is done. Mist coming off the water. And it looks fantastic. All we need is a tench. First one of the morning, not a big one but lovely, get back. Well, it's been a nice session again down here in Oxfordshire, uh, didn't get one of the monsters but uh, it's, it's been great spending time down here again fishing for the tench. Anyway, back to the old haunts next week. My local drain. Uh, I've got a barbell itch that, itch that needs scratching as well. Uh, so, anyway, till the next time, tight lines.